everyone welcome back to my channel today is first impression friday and i'm going to be testing out this smashbox studio skin 15 hour wear um hydrating foundation and i got the shade 4.3 so i originally purchased this foundation like two weeks ago or something and i got the shade 4.15 i don't know why i got that shade if i can remember i'll insert um what one point or what 4.15 and 4.3 look like next to each other um yeah so i got that shade i realized obviously this isn't going to be a correct shade so i went back to exchange it for this one so in the package um this one came with a little sampler of the a little sampler sample whatever of the smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is just like the original one my original box didn't come with this though so i don't know what that's about the foundation retails for 42 dollars. it comes with a glass bottle nice bottle and a pump um love foundations with a pump it has 23 shades on the Sephora website and then 22 shades on the Ulta website. I think there's only one shade darker than this and that's 4.4 and it comes with the standard one fluid ounce. The box says this hydrating foundation was created in our LA photo studio to look and feel amazing throughout an entire 15 hour shoot. Um, it's supposed to be medium to buildable coverage, oil free, controls, controls oil all day, sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant. We'll see. Um, color true and transfer resistant, demi matte finish. It says to use blends over skin with brush, sponge, or fingertips starting from the center of the face. I think that's pretty much it. Be flawless for 15 hours. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to spray some of my Smashbox Priming Water. I know my hair looks crazy today. I'm actually going to get a haircut. So that's what's happening around here. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender on one side of my face and then my Morphe M439 brush on the other side of my face just to see how things work out. Hopefully I can remember to take a flash photo. I always forget to take a flash photo. I'm not going to use any sort of like smoothing or any sort of primer besides the primer water and yeah let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay it comes out like a I'm going to do two pumps. It has like the typical foundation smell. It's definitely running down my hand, but it's not as runny as um, some other foundations. Bring my mirror closer. Oh, yeah. It like blended right in. Hmm. So before I went, oh, I feel like maybe a brush would be better because I feel like all that product is gone already. Um, before I went to exchange the shade, I stopped by Sephora to do their, um, I picked up the foundation from Ulta. So before I went to Ulta to exchange a foundation, I stopped by Sephora to do, um, their color IQ thing to see, you know, which shade would be, that's all gone, to see which shade would be a good match for me. So I did the color IQ. I was actually disappointed with the um, foundations that popped up for me. It was like, I don't know, they just really didn't appeal. And the Smashbox one didn't pop up at all. Like, it was not there. So that was two pumps. And I literally have two pumps on this side of my face. And I feel like... I feel like you can't even tell that I have foundation on. Like it just looks like skin. What is that about? So I feel like maybe if you have like really popping skin, 
And this would be, um, this would be a good foundation for you. I'm going to squirt out some more. I like to spray my brush with a little bit of the primer water. I feel like I didn't really get my forehead with the beauty blender, so I'll just go across. You might hear my husband snoring. Um, I feel like the brush side has a little better coverage, but not by that much. I do have a, this freaking pimple right here. I'm like so confused right now. Medium to full buildable coverage. Let's see if we can build this up. So I'm gonna put one pump right here for the beauty blender, beauty blender side, and then one pump right there for the brush side. I wanna see if I can cover up these little dark marks right here. I'm also wondering how long these foundations were sitting on the shelf because both times I went to Ulta, the foundations were dusty, like the boxes were dusty, which is funny because um, the first time I went to pick up the foundation, I went to the same location both times. The first time I went to pick up the foundation, um, they were on the top shelf and the second time I went to pick up the foundation, they had moved them to the um like the middle shelf and both times they was dusty as fuck so mm -hmm. i feel like you can still see the marks coming through so i don't know about full coverage but we'll just go back to the side with another layer i'm gonna regret putting all this foundation around my nose and in my smile lines All right, so that's what it's looking like with, um, what, three pumps on each side? That's a total of six fucking pumps on my face. That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna go take a flash photo and then do the rest of my makeup and I will be back. All right, so it is 10, ooh, 10, 17. I wanted to show you guys what my makeup looks like right now before I... Um, spray anything on my face and all that stuff. My face is like super dry right now, so I think it's a demi matte. It's like matte matte. Um, and I do have oily skin. I don't think I mentioned that. I have oily skin. Um, it's a little bit drier now since it's the winter time, but is oily. Um, I feel like if you have dry skin you're gonna need to make sure you like hella moisturize before you put this foundation on because like i said it's just like it's like a little tight feeling um so yeah all right guys so it is currently 10 30 i will be back later to see how this foundation held up wish me luck hey guys so it is currently am i stepping on the cat I don't know, it's a stuffed animal. What the hell? Anyway, um, it is currently 12.38. I went and got a haircut. As you can see, where is my hair? I is bald. I is bald. I actually wanted it shorter, but whatever. Anyway, so it was super hot in there. I was sweating. I have hair like all over my face, so please, if you can, excuse that. Um, she definitely like rubbed off like a lot of my makeup like around my ages um but i feel like the foundation ooh, i feel like the foundation held up fine it's just my bronzer and stuff is like gone in those areas um what did i say hair on my face yeah there's like hair all over my nose um it was super hot in there your girl was sweating and i was nervous on top of that so i was like really sweating um hi ava they can't they can't see you baby oh actually they can what are you? Mom, hey, let's potty. You got a potty? Um, so as you can see, my nose is, you know, like a little 
greasy just a little bit not too bad um there's like small little indentions where my glasses are but those also aren't bad definitely have some smile lines so i got a little bit of smile lines happening i gotta figure out how to get this hair off my face without messing up my makeup this probably wasn't a good idea to get a haircut on the same day that i'm trying on a foundation Ugh. um other than that, it looks good. My face does feel dry, but it's like around my mouth area that it feels dry. Um, so I would definitely um, recommend uh, pounding. Pounding. I would definitely recommend lathering on the moisturizer before you use this foundation. I don't like. I don't understand hydrating, but it's 15 hour wear. Like. To me, that doesn't really go together for it to be hydrating and then also 15 hour wear because usually longer wearing foundations are matte and I just don't see how a matte foundation is hydrating, especially this foundation. This foundation is not hydrating at all. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to stop trying to get the hairs off my face. Um, I think that's everything that I have to say for right now. So I will come and check in again at maybe 3.30, 4, around there. And we will see how the foundation um, holds up. Hey y'all, so I am back. The sun is setting. That's why the freaking light is so dim in here. Um, it is 5.15 and um, I'm going to tell you my final thoughts on this Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour, 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. Was not hydrating. Didn't feel like it was hydrating at all. I forgot to tell you guys after I um, finished my makeup that I didn't like how my concealer applied using this foundation and y'all know I love this concealer this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I use the shade Amande and it just felt so dry under my eyes so usually I put the concealer um on and then I immediately go in with a damp beauty blender and blend it out I will spray my beauty blender with where is it at with some Smashbox primer water if need be and even spraying it with this it just felt super dry I don't know what that's about I do feel like the foundation does look good though um I'm just like a little shiny I'm just a little shiny in like my t-zone and then also like where my cheeks and stuff are um my nose isn't super bad and I did Avery like rubbed up on me and stuff she's wearing a white shirt it did transfer a little bit on her um on her white shirt but it's not it'll come out I hope so I would recommend this foundation um I would just say to make sure that you really moisturize like I said earlier make sure your um make sure your face is just like super moisturized and it's weird that my concealer was dry also because I use the Mario Badescu I don't know how to say that word uh eye cream or eye gel and this is what it looks like it's the green one and I like this stuff makes my under eyes like super moisturized so I never had an issue I've never had an issue with this concealer before until this foundation I don't know let me know um down below how you feel about my makeup today if it looks cute it definitely looks better than when I was wearing the Maybelline foundation if you haven't seen that video I'll leave a card or whatever it is um up be up below up below <laughs> up above and I think that's everything that I have to say if you are not already subscribed and you have watched this entire video girl go ahead and subscribe come back for more videos and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for um, watching another video um, make sure you like and comment and share and all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next one